If Dr. Legg hadn't arrived, I would have dug his grave. Reckon Frank Bruno needs a new sparring partner? But you've got to be careful, Tom. You can't take the law into your own hands. There you are, Doc. So, what are you big strong men going to do about these little visits, then? Well, first off, pay a call to the Community Relations Council. Well, what good's that going to do? Raise public consciousness. Like people are being recruited to terrorise their own kind. It's a community issue, not a criminal one. Don't you believe it? This Bevis was a tip of a very long, villainous tentacle, and the organisation ain't gonna like your size 12 boot stamped on it. Mark my words. Set him for two falls or a submission. Look out, Dr. Legg. He's like putty in her hands, Ethel. It's shameful to see. Here, you don't think they've been carrying on an affair now, do you? Yes, I do. And I've got evidence to prove it. Mm. Oh, yeah? Where'd you find it? In Dr. Legg's surgery after hours? I'm going to send a written letter of complaint to the Director of Social Services. Whatever for, Doc? It's my duty. Oh, now. Dr. Legg's got his needs like everyone else. And if this cornica what's it's meeting them well who cares about her views on matrimony well i do for one he ain't a dog on eat oh. i mean it's one thing to lust after a bit on the side if you're a common a garden greengrocer or something but i mean quite another if you're a guardian of the public's welfare you know it's all right going about other people doing wrong isn't it you want to get your own ass in order first what do you mean have you ever considered why your nick took to mugging pensioners and forging gyro checks stop oh he never did he was a decent and a kind and loving son. He never meant no harm to nobody, and now he's not here anymore. He never was here in the first place, not the way you describe him. I bet you smothered Nick from the day he was born. Oh, don't care. I don't feel well. No space to grow, no air to breathe. Been used a punch bag day in, day out for you and your school. Oh, careful, I think I'm going to faint. Oh, I can almost feel sorry for Nick, you know, despite what he's done to me and Pete. He never had a chance to become a man with you as his mother. Oh. And now he probably never will. Oh, calf. My poor heart is aching sure it's the same to bring home a baby. Oh, it's not lofty. What do you expect? Oh, oh, five o'clock shadow at least. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ali, that's my drink. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm more than willing to learn oh, how these girls get money to burn. Every proposition I turn down Ooh. Way down It's not cause I shouldn't It's not cause I wouldn't And you know that it's not cause I couldn't It's simply because I'm the laziest The laziest girl in town Like, Sorry, love. Game shooting is not permitted on these premises. <laughs> Foul mouth, does not he? You don't think he's funny, do you, Kat? Hilarious. What's the matter with your pen? Good evening, ladies and gents. Yay! Oh, thank you. And welcome to the Queen Victoria. Hello. Now, there was a real woman, that Queen Victoria. But when no flies on her, she was strong-willed and obdurate. Ooh. I said obdurate, love. Which in law, your language means roughly the opposite to limp. <laughs> Oh, and you. Oh, and hands out of the pockets when you're reacting to my jokes. <laughs> yeah, sure, the two times to try. Hey, Dan, I've never seen so many happy faces. I told you people would be proud of it, didn't I? Yeah, well, just as long as it's funny, don't go no closer to the edge. Now, here's a little story. To tell it is a must. About an unsung hero who's still a cunning jet to his bus. <laughs> now, some blokes have a facelift while others die their hair. But my old man, he went from broke and grew this enormous hair. Oh, my old man's a bus man. He wears a blouse and frock. He takes our tea and fall down. Then ends up in the dock. Oh, thank you. 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 We all remember Lonnie Jonathan and Girls? Yeah. Yeah, it's the king of skipping. Lonnie's what we used to call in the train an innovator. A what? Innovator, love. No, it's not a marital aid. Well, you definitely cool. can't buy in Habitat. Oh. <laughs> I would like to know for the gentleman here that I am not married or intended. Oh, yes, I've had millions of offers, thousands and thousands. Oh. Well, one actually. <laughs> and he was a merchant banker. <laughs> Short sighted. Do you know, girls, I don't know what it is, but 
I intimidate a lot of men, you know? I do, I really do. It's because I'm much too forward with them, that's what it is. Do you know what I mean? I mean, my sex life is a virgin. Oh, I'm ridiculous. Here, mate, I reckon you see more action than Mumbo. <laughs> oh, you do, do you? <laughs> no offence, like. It's all right, like he's untaken. I like a man with a sharp tongue, don't you like? <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of my Uncle Clarence, you know. He had a way with the birds. He used to run a turkey farm. <laughs> Oh, get out, mate. You started. Where's your sense of humour? Yeah, where's your sense of humour? Move over. Thank you, Maestro. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I always a bride's lady? Never. Ian, you darling, what can I get you? Bride. Can I have a bit of a more? I'm sorry, Don't. darling. Our regulars don't have more from their barley here. Will the bells do? Yes. Do you want ice? What? I said, do you want ice? Yes. I'm sorry about the decibel level. We're having a bit of a knees up. Oh, let it be so. I shall wake up in the morning on my own honeymoon. Now, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, are you mad enough for that sound? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rippling muscles you have and such strong hands. I bet you don't work in office, do you? No, I'm a barrel boy out there. Oh, are you? An officer one that does an old back on the job, eh, girl? <laughs> My strap, do it if you please. If I were the only one in the world, and you were the only barrel boy, nothing else would matter than the mind. Today, I could squeeze you. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Jen. Jen? 